We're not talking opening a door with my Gary or using Uraken to turn on the lights. Although I have been known to do this on occasion. Hello everyone, I'm Tim. We are already halfway through the guiding principles of Funakoshi Gichin and I have a feeling that he noticed he was halfway there too with this following precept. Apply the way of karate to all things, therein lies its beauty. This precept is basically a declaration of love towards his art, spoken by someone who has dedicated his life to it. We can speak about the hard and soft aspects of karate as a martial art, but I believe Furakoshi wasn't really referring to them when he wrote down these words. Just like many other martial artists will tell you, I love karate. Granted, I don't always like karate, but just like my family and my friends, karate is a part of me and it will always be a part of me. When you study karate and are passionate about it, you tend to start applying the ways of karate to all things. You learn to respect your fellow person, you learn to take care of those in need. I read recently that one of the maxims of karate, one blow, one life, isn't as authentic as some of us would like to believe. Now, I'm not going into the discussion of whether or not it is authentic. Frankly, I don't really care. Fact is that this idea is a very important part of karate today. And this is just one of those ways that translates well into other aspects of life. If all other parts of life are approached with the spirit of seriousness, all manner of challenges and hardships can be overcome. If you confront your hardships with the attitude that your life is at stake, it becomes clear what you can accomplish through your own abilities. You come to see the wonderful power that stems from polishing the mind and body through the way of karate and you'll recognize the exquisite beauty of this path. Now you tell me that this isn't a love letter directed to karate. <laughs> All kidding aside, you can apply many things that you learn in karate to different aspects of your life. For example, being respectful to people you meet in daily life, having an open mind and listening to your partner when you have an argument, or applying what you learn in sparring strategies to solving problems at home and at work. Last week I talked about taking karate outside of the dojo. Now, this precept tells you to also take the spirit of karate outside of the dojo. We're not talking opening a door with my Gary or using Uraken to turn on the lights. Although I have been known to do this on occasion. I'm talking straight up making the lessons of respect, discipline, resourcefulness, humility and so on. You learn in your years of karate a part of your daily life. Apply the way of karate to all things, therein lies its beauty. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. For now, let me wish you a wonderful day and as always, thanks for watching. When Chuck Norris was in high school, his English teacher assigned an essay, What is Courage? He received an A-plus for turning in a blank page with only his name at the top.